Hello everybody, Smith here, welcome back to some more BD Armoury. In the background you can see a fight uh, involving my unimaginatively titled craft, The Hack, which I sort of built as a demonstrator just to showcase a handful of kind of cheaty ways in which you can um, improve your craft's performance in very, very unrealistic ways. Uh, I was going to do a follow-up craft to The Hack, uh, just where I took the whole exploit thing and turned it up a few notches. I still might do that in future. Um, but it did get me thinking, if we're going to take advantage of, you know, the areas where uh, where real life and KSP diverge, then let's not do things by half measures. Let's, like, pick an exploit and really run with it. So, what exploit are we going for today? Well, by default, the BD Armory AI will target its opponent's centre of mass. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever come across this craft where someone's actually been bothered to change it from the default. It works pretty well, but what if we were to try and throw a spanner in the works there by having a craft that has no centre of mass? Okay, like, technically and mathematically there has to be a centre of mass for a craft, but what what if there was nothing there? What if, thanks to the, uh, thanks to the power of some space plane hangar shenanigans, you had built a craft with two separate parts joined magically together? That is what we have here, and just to sort of uh, demonstrate what I'm on about, we have uh, my little um, my little combat buggy here. So, switch teams, put guard mode on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless you, you poor dumb <laughs> Um, yes, so I am hoping. <laughs> hoping might be the operative word. It's much the same thing will happen uh, when we get up close and personal in a dogfight. Let's um, let's go and see. We start then with a quick three v three against uh, uh, my craft, which previously had the record for my <laughs> for my widest fighter, the Lynx. Um, yeah, uh, vessel this vessel spawner really did not like this. It didn't know what the hell it was doing. Sort of understandably, but I managed to get it set up. Um, Set up pretty okay. Uh, let's um, let's get this going, shall we? And the first fight starts. This <laughs> this is weird as hell watching this thing. Oh god, it's got into a bit of a spin. Yeah, some uh, some problems with this thing. I think it's two it's two uh, two wingmen seem to have uh, been doing okay. I think I'm following the wrong craft. Okay, there we go though. Um. Oh my god, one of the, uh, they're taking damage. I, I designed this mostly for um, for sort of the gunfight phase of uh, combat, but <laughs> if it can get to the gunfight phase of combat, that uh, that would be superb. Yeah, I've had to... Uh, you can see I've got... Uh, it's, it's a biplane. I've had to put some uh, massive control surfaces on this because, as you can imagine, the uh, the roll authority in this is not great. Also, the, uh, the, tail, the tail fins... I've had to put out right back on these girders just just so it gets enough uh, and it gets enough leverage, because if one of these if one of these engines goes down, <laughs> that's an awful lot of turning moment uh, that that's producing. I did test it; it does seem to be okay. Okay, Yosemite Kerman going in, diving low. Now we're into the gunfight phase. This is where this <laughs> hopefully should excel. What just happened there? One of the lynxes is gone. I just got accidentally rammed by Lynx and lost 42 parts. Hydra, they both crashed and burned. <laughs> this was a really dumb idea. It does seem to be kind of working. What are you there? That's one of the Lynx's. Oh, okay, one of the Hydra's has crashed. Uh, missiles away. Gunfire going right down the middle there. That's the sort of thing I'm talking about. Whether or not it's enough to um, whether or not it's enough to actually affect the result of the fight, who knows? How many got two lynxes? I can see two lynxes properly. In oh my god, this is the last lynx. Ah, sorry, the last hydra. This 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 is going to get interesting. Missiles away. Oh, that was superb, but might not be enough. Hmm. I haven't tuned this, by the way. One of the lynxes, one of the lynxes just crashes and burns. Okay, the other problem with this is that, obviously, the guns are set pretty far apart. <laughs> because you've got these two separate pods, which... Ah... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's minimising the damage it's taking, because a lot of that gunfire is going straight down the middle, but... 
Uh, it might not be enough. Now this uh, this craft does have one last trick up its sleeve if um, if the going gets a bit too rough. There we go. Bit of Gal 22 fire going in. It does manage to get a hit. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Oh god, it really, really is having problems rolling. It's, yeah, it's sort of a war of attrition and it looks like the Lynx is doing better and... Oh god. That last trick of its sleeve didn't come into play there. <sighs> I mean, this isn't a particularly good craft in terms of lining up its target. I, I almost wonder if, like, a better craft might do worse, because it might do better at lining up its shot exactly. But I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can demonstrate what I mean. For our second matchup, then, I am going to put the Hydra up against the uh, the best of my current mainline non-cheaty kind of fighters, my uh, the latest version of my Cyclone, the Cyclone F2. Let's... Um... <laughs> I'm not sure about this whole make maybe a better opponent will make things easier, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. And our second competition starts after a little bit of uh, a little bit of gentle encouragement because a couple of these fell well far behind. Oh, I really should have tuned these properly before we uh, before we got going. Um, have any of the Hydras gotten their missiles away? No. Uh, Josh Kerman appears to be spinning out a bit. And losing a lot of speed, which is not good for the missile phase of things. Oh my god, we are getting pelted with missiles. Oh, oh okay, I think we've picked up a bit of speed. I think that's looking a little bit better. <laughs> tiny, tiny little bit better. Okay. Oh, we're already onto the, uh, already onto the sidewinders. Josh Kerman, not getting a lock. Got a lock. Would you guys get missiles away, please? There we go. At least one away. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I just thought since, you know, the Cyclone can actually line up its shot a bit better, it might, a higher proportion of its attempted hits might go right down the middle. We're up close and personal, we've barely gotten any of our missiles away. Let's, uh, let's switch to dogfight cam, I forgot to do that last time. Okay, Josh Kerman. Yeah, the game, the game really does not know what's going on here. Just going to manage to get a couple of quick shots away. <laughs> oh my god. Something's, something's gone. Something's gone. Oh my god. Two of the Cyclones, two of the Cyclones hit each other. It's 3v2. And one of the other Cyclones has gone. Crashed and burned. Oh, thank god for the AI bug where it's, it's not that good at avoiding the terrain. Okay, trying to line up a shot. Oh, gets a couple of... It's away. It's another collision! It's another collision. The Cyclone came off worse. Maybe, maybe that's the strength of this craft. It just hits you. Because it's got two bits. It's got, it's got redundancy. Actually, it does have quite a lot of redundancy with the biplane uh, configuration and everything. Ah, oh, missiles going in. Who's in the Cyclone? Bryce Kerman. Has taken a bit of a hit. Yeah, there's a little, normally a little wing section in there, which you can see it's it's uh, it's not got anymore. Hmm. Yeah. The ability to line up guns is not is not the Hydra's strong point. <laughs> Given it's sort of dependent, um, sort of takes advantage of its opponent's ability to line up guns. That's a little perverse, but. Missile coming in. Oh my god, that's a heavy, heavy, heavy hit, and it's straight into the ocean. So, did this work? Maybe a little bit, but probably not. I think I think as far as dumb hacks go, it's probably back to the drawing board, or at least at least I could give try and give this a tune, see if that makes any difference. Anyway, I will have to leave that here within the uh, the impending house move. Um, my time is uh, recording time is very very limited. Um, but yes, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Will you will you just sort yourself out there?
and you just sort yourself out there and fly straight. Uh, yeah, that will be all for today. If you have enjoyed it and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, uh, great KSP and BD Army community on there, and more besides. Um, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, you too can get your own little patron kerbal like Josh Kerman, not Jebediah Kerman, he comes with the game. Uh, Josh Kerman and uh, all the others, uh, as well as his name at the end of the videos, access to the Patreon and Discord, access to everything I've uploaded to Patreon. <laughs> it's, it's two bits of behind the scenes raw footage. I really need to get on that. Maybe when we're in the new place. Um, yes. And all your very, 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 very kind donations do go towards helping me create uh, more and better content for you guys. Uh, I will be back soon with some more BD Armoury. Some... Uh, I think I said at the end of the last video, I'll be back soon with hopefully some more sensible BD Armoury. <laughs> well, that worked, didn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.